opportunity for all the players that are involved to not just be hands-on as far as, you know, informing fans, but also reaping the benefits of it, too. I think it's a unique ideal. It's groundbreaking. You get an opportunity to watch your favorite team, you know, is if it's on Sunday, Monday, or Thursday, but also have quality uh, dialogue back and forth with guys that you respect, and they have a credible resume. So I'm happy to be a part of FanCon. Uh, .fans is the website. It's a unique, groundbreaking opportunity, and hopefully you guys will all get involved. Well, Simeon, how do I get involved and get cleared to participate? What are the standards to make sure that I'm not a troll? Well, uh, what, first you got to go on and register. And again, that's fancotton.fans. Uh, secondly, you know, they have a, they, we're going to do a great job of monitoring the site. You know, we have the, the intelligence, we have the, the, tech, the technology to really, to filter out all of the kind of the monotony that goes along with trolling and, and, and go, people going on and not adding value to conversation. This is a conversation, we're going to be able to have conversation discussions based on real, true, uh, gritty in NFL, uh, NFL, what goes on in the NFL, and it's going to be fun because of the fact that we're going to be able to lend our insight, insight and, and, and really our perspective on what's going on in the game, and we're going to have to be able to have real dialogue with fans that's coming on that really want to know what's going on yeah. in the game. I mean, from, from the X's and O's into the game in its entirety. Brian, uh, as I understand it, it's organized around teams, right? So it's not just individual players making themselves available. But how much engagement do you expect there will be over time from the players? Just exactly how much access will the, the members have to, uh, to the players? And also, I wonder, I mean, what kind of things are they really most interested in? Are they, are they trying to get a little bit of uh, insights about their, their fantasy league uh, plays and things like that? Yeah, I think through time we will gain traction. We just launched officially uh, this past weekend, and it was impressive. I was impressed. Uh, the majority of the guys were impressed with the amount of fans that were waiting for this opportunity to have uh, a, a platform and not to worry about any bullying or trolling. And then when you look at what can happen as a football fan, you get an opportunity. Let's say if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, the best organization in the NFL, in my unbiased statement, <laughs> by the way, if you have an opportunity of watching the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Jacksonville Jaguars this upcoming Sunday there in Pittsburgh, I'm on. You get an opportunity to see what Big Ben is doing. If you have an offensive question about what happened on that route concept, you know, now you get an opportunity to, to reach out to myself or Max Starks, who's also a Steeler representative, of, a part of FanCom, and we will yeah. give you a quality insight about, you know what, this what happened on that play defensively. Uh, this, was, this is what some of the guys were thinking, or this is what Coach Tomlin was thinking. Our job is to educate, inform, incite, but also entertain. Um, Simeon, if there's no trolling and no bullying, is Cam Newton going to be allowed on this platform? <laughs> <laughs> well, right now the players is playing aren't, aren't really a part of the, uh, the culture that we're building right now because they can't really add the value we can. That value we're going to be able to add is hardcore conversation about what's really going on with the sport. I mean, being guys that play the sport, I and mean, when you look at different, different entities that talk sports, they talk sports, but they don't talk from a real reflective standpoint. So we can reflect yeah. on the game and we can give the game what it really deserves in terms of conversation. So you can get true, true insight. And again, if you're doing fantasy, if you, if you just want to really learn about the game, if you want to know what's going on inside the game, you can, you can come on this site and you can speak to us what and if, we can have real hardcore discussions about it. Brian, we got to go, Brian, but what if I say to you, well, should they be kneeling or not for the anthem? Our job is to keep it in between the lines. All right, guys, thank you very much.